In this video, I will explain what is a functional. Functionals have to be distinguished from functions. A function f maps an argument x to a function value f of x. Here, both x and f of x are elements of number fields x and y, respectively. These number fields can be, for example, the real or complex numbers. This means that a function is a map from a number field to a number field. A functional, in contrast, has functions as arguments. It assigns to each function f of x a number f of f of x. Here, f of x means the whole function and not just the function value at x. The argument f of x is therefore now an element of a function space. This is a space of functions that map from a number field x to a number field y. The value that the functional assigns to a function is an element of a number field z. This number field can again be the real or complex numbers. As we have seen, a functional maps from a function space to a number field. To distinguish functions and functionals in the notation, one typically uses round brackets to denote the argument of a function and square brackets to denote the argument of a functional. If there are more than one arguments, there can be both a dependence on a number and on a function. In this case, one denotes the dependence on a number argument by round brackets and the dependence on a function argument by square brackets. In this expression, the 2x must be understood as independent. Therefore, we can give these arguments different symbols like x and y to avoid confusion. In the case that we have a pure functional without a number argument, the round brackets can be omitted. Then one writes the functional only with square brackets. One can also omit the argument of the function in the argument of the functional. This leads to an even shorter notation, where only the symbol for the function is written in the argument of the functional. An important special type of functionals are local functionals. A functional is called local if it can be written as an integral over a function. Here we integrate only over x. But in principle, there can also be multiple variables. Functionals are highly important in physics. A simple example for a functional is the length of a trajectory. Here, we have a trajectory gamma, which describes the position gamma vector of a particle as a function of time t. Then one can assign to each trajectory gamma the length l, which the particle travels along this trajectory between two time steps t1 and t2. This length is given as the integral of the speed of the particle over time t, from the start time t1 to the end time t2. The speed of the particle at a certain time t is given by the Euclidean norm of the time derivative of the position gamma at time t. Another important example is the action functional from theoretical mechanics. It is a functional s of the time-dependent generalized coordinates q vector and their time derivatives q vector dot. This functional is given as an integral of the Lagrange function L over time t, from a time t1 to a time t2. The Lagrange function depends on the generalized coordinates q vector, their time derivatives q vector dot, and time t. Despite the mentioned differences between functionals and functions, there exist several parallels. For example, one can derive functionals. This is called functional differentiation. As a consequence of functional differentiation, there exists a functional Taylor expansion. It is also possible to integrate a functional. How this works will be explained in separate videos.